Well, Mary Carmen is a survivor that lives in New York. She's a street girl. She's a street girl not because she works in the streets necessarily, but because she grew up in the streets. And um, what's so wonderful about this character is that she is madly in love with a man that she sees as the most wonderful man on earth. And it's not a man that anybody else would see as the most wonderful man on earth, but she has this unconditional love for this man. And she's not the type of girl that's really mushy or romantic or would never strike you like that, you know? She's pretty tough. But she understands the meaning of true love which is very strange because you'd never think that somebody that's so irresponsible and that apparently all she cares about is having fun can love someone so profoundly and she loves him in, his, in her own way because she has a lot of personality and she has her own style but it is true love she's yes she's very impulsive She's, like I said before, incredibly irresponsible and she just wants to enjoy life. She, she just wants to make him laugh and make him happy. And um, she's very interesting because... God, it's, it's, just so, it's such a complicated, complex character. Because she says everything that she thinks that a lot of us would never say because it's cruel or politically incorrect or because we would be disgusted about ourselves, but sometimes we have those thoughts. And she just doesn't have any of these remorse. You know, she just, whatever comes through her head comes out of her mouth and you hear it as it is. I never get involved with Gary. I, dislike Gary. I don't like Gary being around us. If I had my way, we'd never see his face again. You know, it's the way I see it as Mary Carmen is me and my man. Now, my man has brought an extra person into the picture. And I, I, I don't see a balance here. I'm not happy about it. I'm not happy about it. I don't want him to know how unhappy I am about it because I don't want to give him that power. But at the same time, I want him to know that he's got to respect my space. Well, it was tough. I think, it, I think this is a tough career. I think even the people who are, are at the very top have a hard time to keep being at the top. It is incredibly competitive. And um, it is incredibly sensitive because good films come around very few times in a lifetime. So uh, it is only the very lucky who get touched by this magic of an incredible film, you know. And so it's not only getting there, it's once you're there to be lucky enough to end up in a film that's very special. And I think this is one of those films. No, because it doesn't necessarily mean that we have the same needs. You know, we have less needs because we're not used to a lot of things that people don't really need, but they grow to need it because they live in a society that makes them think that you need it. Um, I think these people live on the streets and they're less than fortunate because they didn't grow up in um, healthy environment um, and in a safe environment but I think some people are born in a great family like I was blessed to be born in a great family and so people have to get out there and go look for a family in the streets because we all need to feel a connection and we all need to feel that there is someone out there that is unconditionally with you and that will accept you the way you are and sometimes you have to go out there and find it on the streets i think this is the character that i've ever played that it is the farthest away from me except from santanico pandemonium i've never turned into a monster
Uh, although I have a boyfriend that might <laughs> disagree on that one. Not my recent boyfriend, but some other one in the past. Uh, that, that was a stretch, but um, this is also a, a very big stretch for me. It's, I'm having a hard time discovering who she really is. It is an incredible challenge, and that's what attracted me about this character, that I really didn't know anything about her. And I'm learning from her. Yeah, this, I don't think it's whether it's independent or non-independent. I've been, I mean, there are some independent films that are hell. And there are some big studio films that are hell. And there are some big studio films that are great. But this is just heaven because I get up in the morning and I don't care how early I get up. I am so excited to come to work and work with such incredible actors that are ready to play and create and take everything into the highest possible level. Uh, we are a team. We are a family. This movie is about family and we have created a family within the set. We all get along with the director who's fantastic and who's a friend and makes you feel like you're just working with a bunch of friends creating something really special. The fact that a lot of us, <laughs> the fact that all of us are doing it for the love of it because we're not making money out of it. Um, it's, it's, it's very special and it's taking us to a, a different level of commitment and we're all really, really, with all our hearts, into this, into this little piece of life, which is this movie.